Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Yesterday, Nintendo sneaked in a couple of updates for the NSO and the NSO expansion pack, so let's get into it. The first update comes by the way of the brand new missions and rewards program for all NSO members. As announced a week or two ago, now you can earn platinum points for regular things that you do on your Switch every single day. And this week's rewards come by the way of Super Mario Odyssey icons for your player profiles, and they look pretty cool. These icons are based off the Toaster Rena area in Super Mario Odyssey, and there's 8 in total. These will be available until April 4th, so get your hands on these icons while you can. Now, our last three updates come by the way of the NSO expansion pack because late last night, Nintendo just shadow dropped three brand new Sega Genesis games for the expansion pack and they look pretty cool. I was never really a big Sega Genesis fan, although I did have the Sega Game Gear, but never the Genesis, and I've never heard of these games, but this game here, Alien Soldier, which is an action game, looks really dope. You play as this alien bird soldier who takes down these massive enemies, and the graphics have really held up the test of time. I'm really impressed by this. Then there's the second game which is called Light Crusader. I've never heard of this game either and it looks like some type of action RPG game and it looks pretty cool. Not my type of thing to play at this day and time but it looks cool nonetheless. And the final game that was announced is Super Fantasy Zone. Definitely not my type of game but to each his own. These three games, Light Crusader, Super Fantasy Zone, and Alien Soldier are now available through the NSO expansion pack so hey, if you own the expansion pack enjoy these games. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock. We're here. We focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.